Welcome to my channel. Here I am attempting to reupholster an old footstool that I purchased from the Habitat Restore. This stool is going to serve its purpose in a downstairs bathroom. As you can see here, I'm attempting to try to remove the staples, which is proving to be a little complicated. However, I have the, um, what is this, a putty knife, stapler remover, anything I can find to try to lift these staples. Okay, as you can see here, I have lifted this part of the fabric. Now I'm going to save that. I'm not going to take it completely off because I'm going to use it over the new fabric. Now, I did not go out and purchase any fabric. I had a piece of leftover fabric from an upholstered headboard I did previously, which I'm going to use it here. Now you make sure you spray it for bugs because normally you would remove the foam cushion and replace it, but I didn't. So I decided just to spray it and let it sit overnight to kill anything because I'm funny about bugs. As you can see here, now I'm attempting to fold the fabric over onto the wood as tightly as possible. Grab the ends tightly and pull it. Okay, and with your staple gun, manual or electric staple gun, staple the corners or the edges. And then now I'm pulling the opposite side as tightly as I can. You want to make sure it's nice and snug. And I'm stapling that. Now with an electric staple gun, it should make it much easier to staple. But still, sometimes you still have to put a little pressure on it. As you can see that I'm doing here. Now as you see I've stapled both sides and use as many staples as you feel that you need. Now see I'm going around the perimeter of the stool to make sure I wrap the fabric tightly around the corners. Flipping it over to see if it's tight. Okay looks good. Now I'm going to do the opposite sides. Pulling tightly as you can see here. I'm stapling. Then I'm going to move to the opposite side. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a cold. And staple that as tightly as possible. And again I'm going to staple and pull tightly and staple here again to make sure it's tight on the opposite sides. The same thing on this side. Okay. Now I'm going to attempt to do hospital corners. <laughs> Well, I'm going to grab her each corner, grab her, <laughs> grab each corner and pull tightly as you could see here and staple it. Just gather the corners like I'm doing here. Adding another stapler as I'm doing here because I want to make sure it's nice and tight. Okay, and then I'm grabbing the corners here as well. And staple.
Okay, now I take my scissors and cut off any excess fabric. Because you don't want all that bulky extra fabric hanging around, so I trim the edges. Okay, and now I will fold the liner back onto the fabric and staple it. I've done the other side off camera, and here's the finished product. Now what I'm going to do is screw it back to its base. As you can see here, putting the liner back kind of helps guide me to where the screws originally came out of. So I'm going to screw that back. And there you are. A footstool. Now, I would have preferred leather for the bathroom, but you can set a towel on it. It's just to sit down once you dry and put some lotion on your legs or whatever. And, uh,. Please don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, share, and hit the little notification button so that you can know when I've uploaded some more DIY videos. Hope you enjoyed this video.